Dennis, how's it going? Well, it tastes really good, but I'm making a hellacious mess. Look at so look at my and look at Dave's. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I actually went to college. Wow, what a great day to be alive. Beautiful weather. So we're heading, today's Tuesday, we're heading to Scottsdale, Arizona for Barrett Jackson, which is the 50th anniversary of Barrett Jackson. They got about 1,800 cars. We have six of them there. So when we get there, Alex and I will walk over to the cars. We'll tell you a little backstory where they came from, what we did to them, and when they're gonna sell, which they're gonna sell on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And we're gonna do the video. We're gonna do the video at Barrett because we want everybody there to see the backdrop of Barrett, the lifestyle, and what we chose to bring. So. Grab your cup of joe, let's go to Scottsdale. Who's that? Who's just honking at us? I was about to say, are you so cool you're not gonna turn around and say Who's honking at us? Fashionably on time. Oh, 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 you ready to go? I'm ready. So while we're waiting on Zach's bag, let's give a quick rundown of what's going on this week. Kelsey has about 20 things on the itinerary, but here's what I remember. <laughs> so in the morning, we've got a symposium on future collectible cars. With Alan Taylor. With Alan Taylor, none other than Mr. Alan Taylor. Correct. He's awesome. Alan is amazing. Love to see him. Then Bear Jackson. Spend the day at Barrett. We don't have any cars selling tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday. And then Wednesday night, we will white auction. We've got one we've got our eye on, a really special one. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but It'll be a special car. Very special car. And Thursday, we don't have anything running on Thursday, but we have Bonhams on Thursday. Bonhams is a really unique small sale. Two years ago. It's There's only we, 90 cars, actually. Only so 90 much. cars. We bought two there. Really happy with those purchases. We kept one of them. Yeah, one of them happens to be the 488. It's not, it's not always that hard to pry a car out of its hands, but that one has proven to be one that will probably stay for a while. And then we've got the Haggerty Classic Car Insurance Party which we've been a customer of theirs for over 20 years. Very long time. I think just, about just as long as I've been born, maybe a couple years shy, but that'll be Thursday night. Friday night, or Friday during the day, we've got the auction. Friday night, we have... Um, Superstock selling at Bear Jackson. Yeah, Superstock, that's a pretty big deal. We have the DuPont Registry Party at the W. We're really going to try to swing by the Hennessy Performance Party. I hear they are unveiling a pretty cool car. I don't know what it is, but we're going to try to give that a shot. But the DuPont Registry, we have been in there magazine since the inception mm -hmm. which is the ultimate coffee table magazine for collector cars notice the pun coffee table okay they're actually the only catalog that we ever keep at the shop i didn't know if you knew that but our catalog holder thing in the customer waiting room there and mr how exclusive mr hal reddick aka hal leah good friend of ours we'll be there so this week is crazy important we're here from tuesday through sunday six days this is the barometer of what's going to happen, or what most people think is going to happen in the collector car industry and supercar industry now for the rest of the year. Yeah, so it'll be a, a week of learning a lot. We're gonna attend all the auctions, but we're also gonna try to see what Scottsdale has to offer this week. We're gonna hit up as many cool restaurant spots and activities, may try to race some go-karts or shoot some guns. We're gonna, we're gonna try to get as much as we can possibly fit in in the next six, seven days. But this is also a chance for us to get to see some of our favorite people in the industry sometimes this is the only time we see during the year if we're not like we didn't go to SEMA this year so we'll yeah. see Chip Foose here we've already seen Wayne Carini but some of our you know very best guys we really really like in the car industry and I think you'll be surprised at how many rock stars are here to see these rock star cars yeah so it's gonna be a big week so follow along we can't wait to show you what's in front of us and then Sunday day six we sell Fort Barrett Jackson so stay tuned there's eight of the events I remember pretty good there's there, She's got eight 20 on the tinner, and eight out of 20 is not bad. bad. So I'm pretty impressed. All right, so we got our bags. We're going to go get a real car. Let's go.
And here we go. Finally to Dennis Collins. Of course, Jeeps. Yes. So the 76 to 86 Jeep CJs, which is not pictured here, have always been collectible. And even now, they're one of the most sought-after American cars, iconic cars of all time. But the TJ series from 97 to 06, those have got the 4-liter multi-port fuel-injected motors in them. They run fantastic. So people used them and drove them a lot more than the earlier Jeeps. So a lot of them are high mileage, used up, wrecked, rolled, parted out, whatever. But if you can find a short-mile, rust-free 97 to 06 TJ, because you still have the round headlight iconic look of a CJ, but you've got dual airbags, you've got cool spring suspension, they're a great ride and drive, and the price point on them now is cheap because you can buy a nice short mile one for less than it would cost you to redo one. And the ultimate in that series is going to be the TJ Unlimited, which a lot of people refer to as an LJ, a you know, long Jeep. They're 11 inches longer. They were only made from 04 to 06. And in that series, I'll just break it down real quick. If you really want the ultimate, it needs to be a black Rubicon hardtop automatic LJ. Now, I'm going to go the total opposite because in any of the sports cars and muscle cars, I am a manual transmission fan. In a Jeep Wrangler, you want an automatic. Why? Unless you have three feet, it's a problem when you're off-road. Yeah. So you need an automatic if you're actually going to use it for its intended purpose. We are seeing a value increase in these over the last three years at almost 30% a year. Wow. And Impressive. now... To me, when something comes collectible, if you have a short mile TJ or LJ, they are now 20 to 30 percent over original MSRP. So when you, your vehicle gets back to MSRP, a lot of times, to me, that's when it has reached collector car status again. You know, let's say the Aston Martin or a Porsche, like you're referring to, those cars aren't anywhere near the original MSRP. Correct. As they gravitate back to that, and people have solidified them as a classic, yeah. which. TJs and LJs. You just turn it off. Yep. Which the TJs and LJs now are already solidified as a classic. You're going to see them go through the roof. And if you can find a really short mile one, I think people would be shocked what they bring. But they also run along in the market now with Broncos, Blazers. The four-wheel drive market is hot. It's, it is here to stay. Yeah. This is fun. This is all about kind of the future collectible cars. And uh, Dennis, back to you. Okay. The long hood Porsches, which are 64 and a half to 73 and a half. Now, everybody's like, what's he talking about? They're already collectible. I'm going to go towards they're way undervalued. Really? Way undervalued. And they're I think already anything, bringing... anything that you could compare in the sports car market to these cars for the price. I was wondering when we were going to get to a German car, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it's an iconic design. To me, when I think of iconic designs, I think of the E-Type Coupe. I think of the 911, 912, of course, the 356, you know, Mustangs. I mean, there's a lot of them out there. But when you can buy one of these cars right now in the market for less than it cost to properly restore one, they're still undervalued. Yeah. And if you start chasing Ferraris, Lamborghinis, Aston Martins of this vintage or even E-Type Jaguars, you're talking double, triple, quadruple the money. The production figures are extremely low. On 64 and a half to 73 and a half. You know, this is before the impact bumper cars, which I'm not a fan of. I know the market's strong on them. I do buy and sell them, but I don't collect them. Um, I think if you want to see, we're going to see a massive swing in these cars within the next 24 months. Guys, how about a round of applause for our experts? Thank you very much. And thank you watching at home. Thanks to uh, Carl uh, Bumstead, Greg Davis, Tyson Hugey, Dennis Collins. I'm Alan Taylor for uh, Car and Driver and Road and Track magazines. I'm here helping Barrett Jackson out on the 50th anniversary. We're going to have another one of these tomorrow, so come back and visit and uh, come back and watch us online. <laughs>
also going to show you all a little bit more about the auction today. Kind of, it's, it's a fair here as well as a car auction. There's the the hot the hot tub booths and the massage chairs and the corny dogs and the all that Jackson stuff. Circus. The Barrett Jackson yeah. Circus. So we're going to show you the cars and the circus. And Dave, it's a lifestyle event. Lifestyle. <laughs> <fun>. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Let's go do some lifestyling. Let's. So we're at Bear Jackson. This is our 1967 Camaro pace car convertible that we found that had been parked since 1976. There was 104 of these cars built, and this is one of those actual 104 cars. What I like about this car over the other 104 cars is most of those cars were automatics, and many of those were column shift automatics. Why? Because they were driving dignitaries around, the pretty girls and whoever, it was easier for him to get it out of the car. This is a four-speed console car. So it's one of the rarest pace car convertibles that they ever built. Again, this park since 1976. Now, I'm gonna turn it over to Alex, and he's gonna tell you what we did to this car and why we did it. So we got our 67 Camaro pace car here. It's been sitting since 76. It didn't run, so we went through it front to back. We did water pump, gaskets, a new Edelbrock carb, fuel tank, fuel lines. We did calipers, wheel cylinders, brake lines, the whole nine yards. It drives amazing. So here's the interior. We did a full carpet kit, full seat covers front and rear. We redid and restored the steering wheel, which you can't get in blue anymore. We did, I believe, we did new door panels, painted the tops, all new chrome, front and rear, outside and in. It looks stunning. This car is going across the block on Saturday. Let's see how it does. So this is our 1975 Starskin Hutch tribute car. There's a, actually a website dedicated just to this car. The guy spent two years building it. It was a massive project. Runs and drives extremely well. It's got a very strong 351 Cleveland in it. What an iconic television show car. How cool is that? What do you think, Rashad? I love this car. <laughs> Great show. Okay. And next we have our Summing Tiger. I love these cars. Many people, including myself, consider it a mini Cobra. Cobras have gotten just astronomically expensive. This is a 260 V8 with a T10 four speed and a Dana 44 rear end. This thing is an absolute blast to drive. So if you can't afford a Cobra, buy a Sunbeam Tiger. Now we've got our 1979 Jeep CJ5 with a 1983 stripe kit, but this is a nut and bolt built Jeep frame up, labor of love. The guy spent two or three years on this Jeep. We didn't actually build this at Collins Brothers, but I bought it because I appreciated the craftsmanship of this Jeep. Zach will do a lot of B-roll on this Jeep, but the interior of it, I mean, it's even got real alligator in it, lots of leather, V8, fuel injected, I mean, just on and on and on. And my favorite color on a CJ, Sherwood Green. Now we're standing with our 1984 CJ8 Scrambler. The only thing rarer than that is a 1985. It's debatable if they built them in 1986. We built this Jeep 16 years ago in our shop. The restoration cost back then was $50,000 plus the price of the Jeep. To build this Jeep to this specification now in our shop is about $135,000. What I love about this is it's got a Mopar fuel injection kit on it that was made by Hesco. Six cylinder, full roll cage, lift kit, wheels, tires, just on and on and on. I could talk about this Jeep for a half hour. But that 1984 Scrammer is also selling this weekend. And last but not least, we're gonna walk on down and check out our super stock. So here's our 2021 Super Stock. In my opinion, this will be the most collectible car out of the entire Hellcat platform. Why? Because it's a one-off car that I special ordered with some really cool options, but the total production of a Super Stock is extremely low. For those of you that know, know what a Super Stock is, it's an 807 horsepower, wide-body, Hellcat-powered Challenger. Now, why is that so significant? Well, the Demon was 808. So let's check out the special order options on this car. And what else is really neat is it's got 10 miles on it, 10, delivery only, and it has not been through dealer prep. 
So, you see the line plastic still on the motor? This bumper on the door right here that keeps it, when they were transported, whether it was rail or in the truck, you open the door, you can't nick it. It's got the NASCAR rear spoiler, which is an option. Back seat delete. Lot number 721 is next across the block. The 1971 Jaguar XKE Series 3. This beautiful Jaguar Carbon fiber has a stripes. engine made into an automatic transmission with increased horsepower, smaller chrome bumperettes, and full instrumentation. And the factory hood pins. Now, this is a 2021. In 2020, there were less than 300 of these built. I believe, but I don't have the numbers yet to definitively tell you this, but in 2021, I believe there were less than 200, and I'm confident that this is the only one in F8 green with these options. So, you want a future collectible? That's it. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Can I have an ice cream cone? Yes, you may. Can I have a funnel cake? Yes, you may. Can I have a Cory dog? Yes. <laughs> Mom's not here, you can have whatever you want. <laughs> Hi, Dennis Collins. Yep, yeah, we've been doing engines for 40 years this May. Our owner, Norris Marshall, started 40 years ago in May. Um, we offer the complete package for you. Front drive, clear through transmission. Comes with a 30 month, 50,000 mile warranty for you. And uh, you know, Restore Muscle Car has been using them for quite a while now. And we're excited to keep moving forward and build nice, awesome rides with you guys. Thank you, yeah. All of our cars and truck builds, it doesn't matter. We put a number, uh, several of them in Camaros, Apollos, um, Blazers, obviously so Trans Am. These, these motors so. have all been on the dyno already. Yes. So there's do. no there's no yo-yos coming back. Correct. And breaking them. We start with brand new blocks, new heads, roller cams, forged internals for you. Everything's ran and tested on the dyno. You're going to get the dyno result for your exact engine. So any of our advertised horsepower is a guaranteed minimum for you. Well, most of what we've been building lately, we've learned this the hard way. <laughs> we, we do dyno before we put them in the car. Yes, yep. Yeah, so last step in quality control for us is that we run and test them before packaging. That way we make sure when we're sending them to you, you're getting 100% running proven engine. Very cool. We just put a 350 in the Scout last week. Yeah. Excellent. Let's go get some food. Talking about it, you ordered a Z06. I know you're big, Z06 you're big on the... The mid-engine Corvettes and the, the new style them. Corvettes and stuff. So you ordered the Z06, how'd you spec it? Um, I think similar to this one, I didn't do the carbon wheels, but I kind of like the look of these rims. Um, I am going to order the convertible this time, though. Really? Yeah, the hardtop convertible. I like that. So the, the other thing you see at Barrett Jackson is all the major manufacturers have got their new cars here, and you can come and see them. Really cool. Rashawn studied these cars really hard and heavy, so we'll try to get him to talk a little bit about the new Z06. Look at that, they're finally getting the person who built the motor to Oh cool, to, to sign off on it? Yeah, adding the touch to it. It's going to be the highest horsepower naturally aspirated motor ever made. Todd Browning. Okay. Where's the orange one? It's in the show, it's inside. Can you pop that? Sweet. Yeah, that's kind of cool. So a little bit of trivia. The guy we bought the Shelby drag car from recently yeah. is one of the guys that builds these motors. Oh, so when you cool. build the motor, as you can see right here, they sign them. Now this is not one of Thomas's motors, but he does build some of these motors. How cool is that? Awesome. Yeah, that's cool. I've never noticed that. Stingray. <laughs> really neat. I haven't seen that either. Stingray is pretty cool. Attention to detail. I think it's going to sticker for like 140. So it goes for my 60th birthday. I want that hamburger stand in our backyard. <laughs> That'll be fun. Hey, hello. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Well, thank you for asking. Oh, I wish. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. 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 Can I please have the regular waffle? Do y'all have the 
one that or the twist. Can I have a regular cone with the twist, please? I need a I need a dipped chocolate. And a dipped chocolate cone? You know the dipped chocolate? Can you make it a double and charge me double? Like make it as double. big as possible. I don't want a double. No, You're don't, getting a double. Don't do it. Single. Don't do a double. Yeah, just a sink. Yeah. Thank you. Killing me with that. How about well, you don't have to eat the whole thing for Sean. How about a root beer? Man, you just destroyed your tip, sir. Incredible. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing. Like, I'm, I'm kidding. How is the virus thing's doing? Everything good? Staying yeah. clean? Yeah. All good. God bless Texas. Yeah, that's right. You know, Texas and Florida <laughs> here, my boy. Nice to meet you, man. Dennis Collins, bring her around. <laughs> is her daughter Kelsey's here? Yeah, well, she's over. How's it been? Fantastic. Really good. I could have come up with a better name now, but. <laughs> Anybody else would like an ice cream cone? Dennis? No, I'm good. No ice cream for me. I'm talking to Rich Panks. That's the muscle car himself. Back in the, in the house. What'd you get, Pete? Uh, a falafel and fries. The safest thing here. <laughs> for you, are you going to put some Kelsey, you want to get a corn dog? Hey, Dad, can we get corn dogs? Absolutely. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I love corny dogs. I'm afraid I'm gonna ruin my appetite with a corn dog because I just had an ice cream cone. But... Are you in, Alex? Alex said no again. Jumbo corny dog? Kelsey got an ice cream cone. We just finished the corny dog, which was actually outstanding. What a day. Yeah, it was outstanding. <laughs> it really was. <laughs> now we're going to finish up with ice cream. <laughs> so, Alex, are you sure you don't want an ice cream? No, me and Zach had a mac and cheeseburger. Filled me up. Did you really? Yeah, we did. Okay. Thanks, have a great day. Hi, how are you? Outstanding. How are you? Doing well. What can I get for you? I would like the most expensive thing you have. So, I would assume that would be a $10 chocolate dipped. Yeah. Anything else for you today? Uh, what do you want, Dave? Same thing or something different? At Barry Jackson, you have to get the most expensive thing. We'll take two of those. And you want uh, chocolate, vanilla, or swirl ice cream with those? Chocolate on mine. Vanilla, swirl, or chocolate? Double chocolate? Both the same. We'll make it easy on you. $20, please, guys. Out of 100 I'll tell you what, if you make mine extra tall, yeah. you can keep okay. all the change. Oh, okay. so, all right. I mean, I want it okay. as big right like, as it doesn't fall over. I'll let you be the judge of it. There's nope. that for That's you. That's yours. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> but I want a big one. A world's record twist. Well, actually, it's just chocolate. <laughs> all right, now here's the challenging part. The dip. Put 
that's Dave's. I think you can make it bigger than that. <laughs> I, I really have dead. confidence in you. Okay, so that's, here's a challenge. Make it bigger, please. Oh, and it's a leaker. It'll be all right. That looks good. No stress. Oh no, don't worry. Okay. I got this. You got this? I think so. <laughs> Good move. Sometimes you gotta go fast with it. Sometimes you gotta go fast and sometimes you gotta be loud. <laughs> Thank you, guys. nice, Thank you, nice lady. Thank you. <laughs> so as you guys know, we actually filmed Coffee Walk basically in real time. So you're not gonna see the cars cross the auction block, but you'll see it next week. So remember, please like, tag, share, follow, and subscribe to what? Our YouTube channel, youtube.com backslash Dennis Collins Carwood. See you next week.